Namaste students I hope you are happy and safe at home In the last two videos we have learned to identify different flat shapes like the triangle square circle and rectangle We also learned to identify different solid shapes like the cuboid cylinder cone and sphere but children do you know what do we use to draw all these shapes the numbers the patterns our alphabets and even the rangoli in a house children by looking at all these different figures shapes alphabets numbers everything on the screen can you guess our topic that's right today's topic is fun with lines excellent students before we start about lines let us know what is a point a dot is called a point a group of points make a figure so here did you see when we place many dots one after the other it forms a line children now let's do the thread activity and find out more about lines if we hold a thread in our two hands and stretch it tight we get a straight line if we let it hang loose we get a curved line yes children we get a curved line students so now after doing the activity we know that there are two types of lines straight lines and curved lines can you see different lines in front of you but in this lesson we are going to learn more about straight lines children now let's do another activity let's do this activity together and find out how many types of straight lines are there for this activity you will need three sheets of paper and a pencil so are you ready students here is my first sheet of paper is it ready with you okay now i'm going to fold this paper top to bottom i am going to fold this paper from top side to the bottom side and now when i unfold this paper let's see what we see yes here we can see a straight line this straight line is in the sleeping position so we call this straight line as a sleeping line or a horizontal line sleeping line or a horizontal line now i take my second sheet of paper this paper i am going to fold from right side to the left side from right to left and now when i unfold this paper you again see a straight line but this straight line is in the standing position so we call this straight line as a standing line or a vertical line standing line or vertical line Now I take my last and the third sheet of paper. This paper I am going to fold little bit different way. I am going to fold it to the corner. Now, when I fold it to the corner and then unfold it, let's see. Here also we get a straight line, but this straight line is in a slanting position or. we can say it's in a sloping position 
so we call this line as a sloping line or incline sloping line or incline line students so now do you know the different types of straight line they are standing line or vertical line sleeping line or horizontal line sloping line or an inclined line children in school while drawing in our books we try to draw lines using different objects now let's find out different ways of drawing a straight line students now we are going to draw a straight line now here i am using my compass box to draw a straight line we generally do it right so here this straight line is in a standing position so this is a standing line now i am drawing a sleeping line using my compass and now i will be using the same compass to draw a sloping line or inclined line so here you see the different types of lines now i am using my scale to do the same i am drawing all the three lines now i use my notebook to draw all the three lines but children now something different we are going to do we are going to draw all these three lines without using any object just a pencil that is a free hand drawing so i will be drawing a standing line in front of you without using a scale a compass or a book now a sleeping line or a horizontal line and the last one sloping line or inclined line children you can also practice the same by drawing these lines without using any object try drawing it it is fun now you can see standing line or vertical line sleeping line or horizontal line and sloping line or inclined line so children in this topic we did various activities and learned about a point a line different type of lines different type of straight lines and different ways to draw a straight line i hope you enjoyed all the activities that we did today following are the activities that you have to do at home practice to draw different shapes alphabets and numbers neatly using free hand that is without the help of any object the second activity is try to do the fun activities given in page number 8 of your mathematics textbook that is your maths textbook so children do all the activities and have great fun revising lines thank you students 